Well, it's been almost two weeks since Amber Heard lost a multi-million dollar defamation lawsuit against her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, but she is refusing to back down. In a new interview, the actress is standing by her claims that Johnny Depp was abusive towards her. Do you stand by your testimony and your accusations against Johnny Depp about abuse? Of course, to my dying day, we'll stand by every word of my testimony. He and says he never hit you. He can't. never. Is yeah. that a lie? Yes, it is. I did do and say horrible, regrettable things throughout my relationship. Uh, I behaved in horrible, almost unrecognizable to myself ways. There's so much, I have so much regret. The Depp team argued that you were the abuser, that you instigated physical violence. Did you? I never had to instigate it. I responded to it. Do you think that maybe he just had better lawyers? I will say his, his lawyers did a, certainly a better job of distracting the jury from the real issues. In the closing arguments, the Depp lawyer said, called your testimony the performance of a lifetime and said you were acting. What do you say to that? Says the lawyer for the man who convinced the world he had scissors for fingers. Wow, US broadcaster Cooper Lawrence joins us now from New York. <laughs> Cooper, so much to unpack here. What do you make of Amber's yeah. comments so far? Um, they're confusing because I think she's on the I'm you need to listen to me tour I wasn't lying tour but yet she has these awkward moments that she had during the trial where you're kind of like wait are you lying again because it's like she can't get her own story straight that she memorized for this interview and she's not even under oath. So, I mean, the thing is, we know that Johnny Depp doesn't have fingers that are scissors. We also don't think he was once a real pirate. It, the whole <laughs> thing was really odd and really weird, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out what her intention is here, because it's not doing her any good. Social media is having a field day with her once again, and that's what she's trying to avoid. So, Cooper, the whole defamation trial centred around a, an article she wrote saying he was abusive to her. If she's saying, again, he abused her, could she be sued? She's getting herself in trouble here, yeah, because she's coming out and saying they had a trial, the jury found that she did defame him, and yet here she is defaming him again. So, but the whole, her whole purpose behind this, the reason she wrote the article, remember they had divorced in 2017, things were over, she said, I want him to move on, I want to move on, but then she wrote this article, and she's been poking the bear ever since because she still wants him in her life, even if it's in a negative way, and here she oh. is again. So yeah, it's is not that the re they, they do have a toxic relationship and she clearly wants to continue it. So you think that's the reason she's doing all of this, to keep the attention back on her and the relationship with Johnny? Yeah, because the narrative isn't, listen, I want to be seen as a good person here and I right. want my career back. Instead, she's coming up with the same uh, things that she said before that were already proven lies. So that's what I'm saying. Her narrative mm. is all over the place. So I was kind of looking for her to be more likable and to be more honest here and say all the things we've been hoping she'd say all along, which she does for like two seconds, but then she goes right back to her, her whole, Johnny's an abuser, he's a liar, et cetera, et cetera. So it's weird. It is weird. I wonder if he would sue her again, because that's the mm. whole reason he's well, just to, in the first place. Just to shut her up. Well, I don't know I'll whether it's going to happen. I yeah. think he wants to have nothing to do with her. If yeah. she's trying to get his attention, Absolutely. I don't think it's going to work this time. Yeah, okay. Cooper, thank you very much.